Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tash Teaches. I'm Tash, and in today's video I'd like to show you how you can send stereo audio wirelessly within the grid. So without further ado, let's jump right in, ah, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Within the grid, it's fairly obvious how we send audio to the audio output. We attach a cable, and voila, we have a sound. We have this sine oscillator just oscillating forever, and it follows this little red cable, this beautifully straight red cable, into the audio output, and that's why we can hear it. If I remove this cable, obviously we can't hear it, and the reason is, is because there's nothing connecting this thing to this thing. Okay, so let's say, for example, we have this impenetrable wall in between our oscillator and our audio output, and unfortunately we just can't get past it. What I want to do is to be able to send the audio from this sine wave to this audio output without actually connecting the two. Well, the way that we can do this, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may have seen the video on using external effects within the grid. And within that video, I show you how you can use the modulator out to send things at audio rate. So what we need to do is we need to take the audio output here, and we need to pop it into a modulator out. Now currently we still can't hear anything, and the reason is, is because there's still nothing connecting this to this. What we really need is for this modulator to move something at exactly the same speed as this is being moved into the audio output. And the way that we do that is by using the value knob. Now the value knob, again in some of my other videos, I've shown that if I wiggle it fast enough I can create a sound. Okay, so that wobbling, if I were to do that at 440 times per second, what we would get is an A, an A440. Blah, 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 blah. So if I were to say move, in fact, specifically, sticking on the idea of A, let's go for A3, and we'll pop that in as our pitch. If I were to wiggle this at the exact same rate, we're going to get the same audio. And the way that we do that is by just taking the modulator out, and we're going to take the audio rate signal coming out of here, and we're going to use that to modulate this value knob. And if I then pop this up, whoa, check that out, dude, we've got wireless audio. One thing you will notice, however, is that that doesn't sound like a sound wave, a sine wave. If I were to take the straight sine wave, for some reason we've got a lot of lot more kind of harmonics on top. And the reason is, is because first of all, before we do that, we need to put it to bipolar, because a sine wave, if you look at it in an oscilloscope, you'll see that it goes above and below. And therefore we need to be have to have the same movement up as we do down. So just popping that to be bipolar, we now get the same signal. And again, if you don't believe me, let's just patch the same output straight in, and let's have a quick listen. Boom! So this sort of wireless audio sending um, is very efficient when maybe you want to have things all neat and tidy. And there are some of you out there who will say to me, like, yeah, but where do things go? How do I know? And that's your own problem. Um, okay, so this leads me to my next issue. And my next issue is the fact that this sounds fantastic. You know, we get the full spectrum change without cables. However, if I start to introduce into here a little bit, in fact, let's just patch the audio straight in. If I start to introduce here a difference in the pitch of the left and the right channel, so we're going to put it on bipolar, and as I push this up to say 0 .00, 0 0.03, on the right hand side, we're up 0 0.03 hertz, and on the left, we're down 0 0.03 hertz. And this sort of stereo difference is what creates, if I start to push this up quite high, this wonderful warbling chorusy effect. As I go too high, it'll start to hear that it just sounds bad. But anyway, the key part of this is that what we're now working with is a stereo signal. And I don't know whether you have headphones or speakers on uh, currently, but you should be able to hear that as I push this, we're now getting the audio going left and right very slowly. It's sort of wobbling around. However, if I were to now take the output of this value knob and pop that in, have a quick listen to what changes. Huh. So we went from having a very rich, stereo spread wobbly sound to suddenly this very shit flat, oh, mono 
boringness. And the reason is, is because these modulator outs are in fact mono. You're sending a single signal, so it's taking this stereo signal, it's forming it into a mono signal, and then that mono signal is wobbling this mono value knob. So if we want to be able to use this system to be able to send audio in stereo wirelessly, we need to do, again, something which I did in the uh, external VST effects, and we need to split this stereo signal into stereo. Because currently, despite every cable in the grid being a stereo cable, the modulator out is mono. So the way that we do that is we take a stereo split, and I'm going to pop that here at the end, and you'll now hear that we just have a straight tone. And that's because if we just hear the left hand side, which is now down 0.66 hertz, there's nothing to compare it to for it to create that wobbling sound. We need to introduce the right hand side as well. So currently what we have set up is just the left channel. I'm going to pop that up there, and in fact I'm going to duplicate that down below. I was going to delete all of the modulation, and I'm going to duplicate this down here. And I'm going to take the right channel now and put that in there. So we've got the left modulating value 1, and the right modulating value 2. If I now pop this in here with a mixer, and I use this to modulate this knob, and I pop this up... Oh yeah! I'm going to put it up to 1. Let me check how much I was modulating this one on. 1. Okay, so you can now hear... that we have that delicious stereo field. And I know this is a lot of knobs that could easily just be one cable, but hey, it's a thought experiment. For some reason, maybe you have a uh, massive grid patch that just has a shit ton of stuff, and for some reason there's an impenetrable wall in the way, and you just need to get your audio from point A to point B with as few cables, well, I say few cables as possible, you've got plenty here. But anyway, that is how you send audio wirelessly. And of course, this doesn't necessarily have to be audio. This could be modulation of any sort. So, you know, you could use this same modulator here. If, ooh, ooh. I could use the audio output of the stereo, like the, the mid and the side. I could use that to modulate maybe the skew. And now the actual audio is modulating itself. Super cool. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this little breakdown on how you can send things wirelessly, and uh, yeah.